Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to another great edition of a Thursday afternoon, January 9, 2020, of AwesomeCallsTrading.com. What kind of day was it? Huh? Thank you, Brandy. Thank you. What kind of day was it? It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. You know how beautiful it was for some? We have been following Noel for the last year, his journey in Awesome Calls. Today, he finally hit his first $10,000 day. He took AGTC on the long side with size because it was liquid. Once it hit through our 750, 780 area, he went long with five 8,000 shares. It doesn't take much. 60 cents, it adds up. $6,000, he added. Now he's over 10000 This is the kind of day it was. Or just Noel itself. There's a lot of traders in here today that have just broke records. You know, they are, and we share it. And this is one of the things in our in our chat room. We share your pain, and we share your glory. And and we are Act Family. We are all part of you. And if it's if a trader's making twenty bucks that wants to make a hundred, we're all there to help that trader. If a trader's try to elevate his game and make five grand to ten grand a day. That's where we are. We're there to help you. All right. We want you to succeed. And Awesome Calls Training, this is what it's all about. But in order to succeed, to get to that level where you're at a level like a Noel, you have to understand the stocks. And this is the reward of understanding stocks. In our room, AJTC wasn't going to be long unless it popped to 750. Until then, it was a short down to $5 because the news was an interim data on a phase half. So typically, we want to short those stocks on any pop at the opening, which is what, what Noel did. But as the stock started to grind throughout the day, we covered our positions just under six, and then we kind of watched it play out. Then we were looking for that 750 area. Once we got to that 750 area, we were going to run the stock. We're very specific on how to play these. Now, these people are going to do uh, an offering. They probably did about 35 million shares today. They can go in there and get about 10 million, and now they can go in there and get it at around 750, where earlier before, they were only going to get it at six. Now they can raise, you know, uh, seventy-five million dollars to hundred million dollars, and that's why they're doing what they're doing. But for us as day traders, we really need to. You need, we understand the stock. So for us on AGTC, the way we played it was in the morning. It was a perfect play. All right, we wanted to short the stock, and I love the pre-market guys that came in and shorted. I had a client that made seven hundred dollars this morning before the market even opened. And I was really proud of him what he did. But as you can see, as it set up, we were not going to long the stock on AGTC unless it broke through the seven area. So I wanted seven and a half. Once it hit seven and a half area up here, I knew I could run the stock. So all Noel did was he waited for that area to break. And then he got this move. Now, this move here between eight and 890, if you have 5,000 shares and it moves 70 cents, all right, you make 3500 okay? And because it's liquid, you could sell right into the pops. If you have 5,000 shares at 750 per the notes, and you sold it at 840 that's $0.90 cents on 6,000 shares. It's 5400 okay? So the key to being successful in small cap world, you have to understand what the stock does and where it's going to go once it starts to break those areas then you chart it out and you walk traders into the money this stock has potential to go to ten dollars a share in after hours but i'm i am a little concerned that they might have an offering shoot right after the close because it is a phase half so we will play it all the way up into the close and be done with it but noel congratulations uh he made over eight thousand dollars on this trade Small caps, if you're in the right chat room and you know what you're doing, you can, make a, you can make a shit ton of money short and you can make a ton of money long. You just have to be in the right room. And again, all day I kept saying, do not long the stock. Do not long the stock. Once it breaks six, we can see five. All right? But if it curls around and we get that magical 750 with volume, and volume was here. Look at the buyer. 300,000 shares. 118,000 shares. Look at the buyer. 200,000 shares. 273,000 shares. 100,000. This is half a million buyer right here. We get that buyer, we can move it up. And that's what we wait for in our room.
Get that confirmation. Play with size. You got liquidity. Bam. You have a stock. You know, this is what you live for day trading. But the sad thing is, if you have the right, wrong guidance, you get shaken out. You don't understand it. You lose your account. Imagine being this guy here, buying 5000 filled at 8 and it goes to 740 He cashes. He, he gets out, right? He loses 60 cents on 5000 He just lost 2400 and now he's miserable for the rest of his life because he didn't understand it. Once you understand these moves, you can play them. Okay. Next stock that we did was uh, ARGX. This was a short. Uh, it's kind of an upgrade this morning. Uh, it was a little up a little too much at 170. So we were shorting ARGX from 170, and we wanted to we wanted 160 today. I'll be honest. I ended up getting 164. So we ended up getting six points on that one. The next stock that we did was AYI. This was a short. Uh, I again. In secret sauce, I just spent 42 minutes of love telling the traders exactly how to read a report and determine where the stock was going to go. AYI was a short. We called it. Um, I said, do not long the stock unless it breaks 132. That's what I wrote. And if it didn't hit 132 or more, do not long it. In the end, this was a $125 stock. Once it snaps 125, I see 120. You don't believe me? Look what I wrote right here. It's all right there, scripted. 128, then it goes to 125. It snaps that, then we go to 120. Do not buy the long unless it hits 132 or more at the open. That's it. The next talk we did, look at this one. This is called Helen of Troy. We knocked it out of the park today. This room was just out of its wits today. I mean, there was no stopping us. This stock had earnings today. Um, Gapping up 12, we wanted that 12 back in our pocket. So we went ahead and started shorting at 196, added on any pop, and we were looking for 185 and under. It was almost the play of the fucking day. This was straight up gangster. I mean, we just knew what we were doing before the, before the stock knew it. We were all over this this morning, including myself live in the room, and I just shredded this. And there's the 185. And hit 183. If you bought 185, you still made about seven, eight points to the upside. And I was calling this play out to the bounce to 192. I explained this one in so much detail it wasn't even funny how to read that stock on Helen of Troy. The next stock that we did was Tuffin. You never traded that before, and you probably never will if you're in the in a different room. But in our room, this is what we do. This is what we do. This stock, I valued the stock around $14 today. I told the traders just any pullback at the open go long. That we got lucky. We got under 12 a share. I started loading up. Stock hit 1385. Beautiful play there. The next one we did was a company called Ass A Z Z. This was a short idea. The reason why it was a short is because the earnings didn't justify the gap up. We called for a short at 5050 and 51 to add. And we were looking for 46.50, and we ended up with 46.61. All written down prior to the opening of the bell. Uh, the next one that we did today was DBBT. This was another. Uh, this is the peanut allergy company. This time today, we valued the stock at twelve dollars and twenty-five cents. So when it was sitting at thirteen and fourteen. We had already made a decision in this chat room that the stock would come down to $12.25 and we would cover. You don't believe me? It was written down well before the opening bell. It was described in detail what the stock was going to do. And right here it says this stock will come down to $12.25 between 12 and 12.50. All right. And then you will get to one and a half point bounce off of that. That's what I wrote. We'll get a one point bounce if you buy it at 12.25. You could take it short at 14, add on any pop, and 12 to 12.50 is what it's going to come down. And as you can see, clear as day, ding, 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 ding. It just faded all day, and it worked where it hit, $12.27. And here's your pop. Right back up. Isn't that cool? Isn't that awesome? That's a nice trade. Um, here's one that actually kicked my ass this morning in a sense that I was right, I just needed more time. So I got a 99% I got a 99% rating today because it didn't do exactly what I wanted in the time frame I was looking. 
But in the end, I won. You know, so technically I was 100% today, but it was Baidu. Baidu just, there's certain stocks that give up their gaps. And Baidu is one of them. I don't care what it does. It is, it is one of them, you know. And so for me on Baidu, I just wanted to short 141, add at 142, have a nice average, and just wait. The problem is we get impatient as day traders. We don't let the trade figure itself. We just, we want to make that money so quick, and including myself. This stock just kept bouncing off that 142, and now it's giving it back. I'm calling 139.50 to 139 on the stock. And, you know, I do think it'll end up there in the end. It's a little frustrating, you know, because we, we're so used to quick money in here. Um, I do want to share with you our Tesla short today. Now, Tesla, I have to be real, um, didn't see the 474 company, but I did see the short this morning at 499, I call it, with room to 502 pop at the open. And I wanted a nice short at the opening bell. I was calling for 490. Let me tell you something. We ended up getting $483 before it bounced. It was a great call. Then the market just started selling it off. I can't take credit for this entire short move, but I will take fucking credit for this move down to 483. I do deserve that because I was very adamant this was a short. It was gapping up seven, I believe, from yesterday's close. And uh, right here. And. Uh, I want everyone to short. It says right there, 499, room to 502, and then take it down to 490. And watch for the bottom curl. The curl needs to set in. And actually, it set in at 4, uh, you know, it was interesting because it hit 492 here. See this right here, 490? And then it popped back seven points. I mean, so in some way, in some fucking way, I was just right on point. I mean, look at that shit. Look at that. It just fucking hit 490 and it just 497, you know? But it ended up coming all the way down uh, at 483 and then finally bounced. And then it just sold off. So either way, I get credit for the trade. I don't see anybody else out there calling for 90, 99 short in, 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 uh, in writing and stuff like that. So, hey, it was a fun day. And remember when I say when a stock hits a certain area, then it collapses? Look at AYI. Just as I'm doing the webinar, see it? Once it hits 125, it'll snap quick. This was all pre-scripted. Do you know I scripted this uh, eight hours ago? You know? All written down. Once you read reports and understand them, you know where the stock's going. And you can't lose. You can't lose. Because you're thinking like other investors. I want out. I don't want this stock. And the stock just keeps selling off. You know? This is what we do. This is Awesome Calls Trade. This is why we're appropriately called that for, for a reason. You know? So, anyway, this is our webinar today. I hope that, uh, hey, we're here building people's confidence to make them amazing traders for the rest of their lives. In order to do that, you have to teach and you have to give 150% every day to them. And, uh, and that's what I do. And uh, we're building something great here. We're an amazing family. We're growing every day. So, you know, just give us a shot. You know, if you're listening to this webinar, click right here. Bam. It's it's <laughs> it's pathetic what it costs a day to be in here. It really is, and it's six six dollars and seventy five cents a day uh, as a monthly. You get every penny's worth, every every change worth. I mean, you get it all worth twenty five for a day, hundred for a week, and I even give you that money back if you come in. But I encourage you to sign up for the annual. Invest in yourself. I will invest in you, and uh, I spend time with you too on a one on one. Where I, I give you a couple hours of my time where I listen to you and help you change the way you trade. I'm more involved with you. Uh, and by the time you end up on an annual, it, it, it pretty much pays itself. So, and you pretty much get it all back and just everything I'm giving you. So, anyway, it was a wonderful day today to day trade. I uh, can't say enough. And uh, it was awesome. So, thank you for joining.